Hi, hi. Absolutely. Star Trek has always been a really important platform for storytelling. I was introduced to Star Trek by my mom at the age of eight, and it sparked a lot of really interesting conversation about whether or not we're the only ones in this universe, about acceptance, about people from back different, all sorts of different backgrounds working together in unity. I've had the honor of meeting a few people uh, in the sciences and particularly at NASA who credit their love of Trek with landing them in the place where they are now. And by the way, if you listen closely, you'll hear my daughter agreeing with me in the background as she uh, plays in her Jolly Jumper. Maybe she'll be positively influenced by the show. There was a young girl named Emily, and she has visited me at a few conventions with her family. And it's just, they're so warm, wonderful, um, excited, and uh, and she really, I think, admires Spock, and it's and it's amazing to be conduit for that um, that connectedness. That felt like, oh my god, where am I? What am I doing? How did I get here? Wow, ditto. Very much the energy of like, oh my gosh, this thing that like my entire family grew up watching and have been obsessed with, and this thing that is constantly referenced in all different forms of entertainment. I'm I'm a part of it, and I have a place in it, and I look really good, and it's really exciting. <laughs> yes. My first thought was, how do you fly a starship? And I have to figure it out really quick. Uh, so I got right down to business. Everybody was like having this great like moment and I was just like, guys, like we have to get to work. It was, wow, this is really happening. You felt the size of it, you know? That was a beautiful feeling. I learned that the Balkan salute is a Jewish blessing. Leonard Nimoy brought into the, into the Star Trek world. And um, I don't think that was something that was chosen lightly, I think that you know, it would have been at a time when anti-Semitism was pretty rife in America. And I think it's really beautiful that he like brought that into the center of television, you know, into the center of like pop culture. Um, and he, I remember hearing that he was like, you know, now it's everywhere now and people don't know that they're actually blessing each other. And I think that's so beautiful. Definitely uh, the menagerie. I definitely watched episodes, of course, of the original to see uh, Dr. and Banger played by Booker Bradshaw. I thought Jeffrey Hunter was amazing as the original Pike, and it, and it meant a lot. I got to meet his son, Chris, at, at a convention who, who wanted to tell me that he, he thought his father would have been pleased with my casting. That meant so much. I requested the Starfleet dress and I love it. But my request with the wardrobe department was, I don't want to just wear the Starfleet dress on the Enterprise. I want to put, I want to flip the narrative and put that Starfleet dress into action so that it's a badass Starfleet dress and it's not just like flight attendant on the Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> Every day it's like my joke when I go in for costume fittings, I'm like, can I keep this afterwards? Like, cause I just want to keep everything because it's so cool. I feel like other than not everything that we see Lan do, I feel like maybe one of her secret things is like Latin dancing or something like that. Oh. Which just, totally. You know? I feel like on Shore Leave, Uhura and Laan, we go dancing and we don't come back yeah. until the wee hours of the morning. <laughs> We're out. <laughs> <laughs>